All right, in uh, this video, we're going to do this last example, uh, finding of a limit of a complex rational function. Notice here we have 1 over 2 plus x minus 1 half all over x. So it's fraction within a fraction. We call that a complex uh, rational function. Um, what we're going to do first is sort of distribute this x to the denominator. Remember, dividing by anything is like multiplying by reciprocal. So if we take this entire numerator, it's divided by x. Well, it's the same as if we multiplied by 1 over x. So here we'll get that written out. 2 plus x gets multiplied by x, and this is going to be 1 over 2x. Okay, so here we have uh, the this was originally dividing by x, but then we multiplied the numerator by 1 over x and sort of acted as a distributor. Okay, so let's see where we're at here. We're, we're going to um, use this to combine these two fractions. And if we look, we have 2 plus x times x, and we have 2x. The common denominator, or the LCD, lowest common denominator of this situation, would be 2x times 2 plus x. Notice I didn't distribute. I kept them as separate terms. Um, this is going to help us here in a little bit as we reduce. Okay, so we have two new denominators, 2x, 2 plus x. I'm going to write that again here, 2x, 2 plus x. All right, we have to reconstruct the new numerators by asking ourselves, okay, what did I do to this denominator to change it into 2x? times 2 plus x. Well, I simply multiplied the top and bottom by 2. So this times 2, we have to do it to the top as well. Remember, when finding common denominators, you whatever you do to the denominator, you do the top as well. So that's just going to give us 2 in this numerator. And over here, we did a little bit more. We have 2x, and we're missing the 2 plus x term. 2 plus x over 2 plus x. That is our new numerator here, 2 plus x. You see what happened here, 1 times 2 plus x, nothing really changed. Now I'm going to put that in parentheses. Keep in mind, we're subtracting, our denominators are good, are good but when we're going to distribute this negative sign, it gets distributed to the 2 and the x. Okay, so here we are with a single fraction, with a single denominator, 2x times 2 plus x. All right, and on the top, I now have 2 minus this 2, and then minus this x. Okay, and look what we have left. 2 minus 2 minus x. We're just left with a negative x in the numerator. We have 2x and the 2 plus x in the denominator. Simplify the x and the x cancel, leaving us with negative 1 over 2 times 2 plus x. Keep in mind we are taking the limit. I just haven't been writing it as we go, as x approaches 0. There we go. We can safely solve this limit with substitution, putting a 0 in for x. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. The value of this limit as x approaches 0, the y coordinate approaches negative 1 fourth. And there we are.